PSW is one of the special function registers of 8051 microcontroller. PSW stands for Program Status Word. It is an 8-bit register. The flags are like this. Carry flag, auxiliary carry flag, F0 that is user defined flag. RS1 and RS0 are register bank selector bits. OV is overflow flag. This dash it can also be used as a user defined flag. And P is the parity flag. It is of 8 bit and it is special function register. It means that it has dedicated function of indicating the status of various arithmetic and logical operations as well as it is used to select the register banks. It is bit addressable as well as byte addressable. Bit addressable means you can individually set, reset or check the status of a single bit out of 8 bits. And that's why I have written like this PSW.7 which correspond to carry flag, PSW.6 correspond to auxiliary carry, likewise PSW.0 correspond to parity flag. Special function registers of 8051 has name as well as addresses and PSW has an address of D0 in internal RAM. Out of 8 bits of PSW, these 4 bits are the conditional flag, carry flag, auxiliary carry flag, overflow flag and parity flag. These are called as conditional flags. While F0 and this dash, these two are user defined flag. User can set them, reset them or you can check their state according to his her view. And the last two bits are RS1 and RS0. These are the bits which are meant for selecting the registers banks of 8051 micro. Let's begin with carry flag. Carry flag is also called as PSW.7 bit of PSW register. Carry flag is equal to 1 when there is a carry out of D7 bit. And in an 8 bit number, we name the individual bits as D0, D1, D2, D3 up to D7. D7 is the most significant bit of an 8 bit number. And when you perform some arithmetic operation like addition or subtraction and there is a carry out of D7 bit, then the, this carry flag becomes 1 and when there is no carry out of D7 bit then this carry flag becomes 0. So this flag is affected after addition or subtraction operation. It is also used in arithmetic, logical like rotate right through carry, rotate left through carry. It is also used in some jump instruction like JC, JNC instruction and boolean operations also use the carry flag. The next flag is auxiliary carry flag and it is PSW.6 bit. So auxiliary carry flag becomes 1 when there is a carry out of D3 to D4. Means from D3 the carry is to D4 then this flag becomes 1. And when there is no carry out of D3 to D4 bit then this flag becomes 0. This will be become more clear when we discuss it with an example. So again it is affected by performing addition or subtraction operation and it is particularly used when we perform BCD arithmetic. When two BCD numbers are added together or subtracted from each other then this flag gets affected. The next one is user definable flag and there are two user definable flag. One is F0 and another one is dash. F0 correspond to PSW.5 bit while this dash correspond to PSW point 1 bit and these flags can be used by user according to his or her choice. It is used to store a single bit of data. The next one is overflow flag and this is second bit of PSW register. That's why it is written as PSW point 2. It is particularly used in signed arithmetic operation. Now you know that there are two different ways of expressing the number. One is unsigned and another one is signed. In signed numbers, there are negative numbers as well as there are positive numbers. And when you are performing some signed arithmetic operation like signed addition or signed subtraction, in that case, if the number or if the result exceeds the range of signed arithmetic, for an 8-bit signed number, the range is minus 128 to plus 127. So this is the range of 8-bit signed number. And if the result 
is out of this range say you have performed the addition of two numbers first number is 90 second number is 60 90 plus 60 is 150 it is out of range then overflow flag gets 1 otherwise it is 0 so overflow occurs when the result of signed arithmetic operation is too large it is large means it is out of range so that it cannot fit or it cannot be stored in a single register the next flag is parity flag and it corresponds to PSW point 0 B. Parity means it indicates how many ones are there in an accumulator. Parity flag becomes 1 if number of ones in the accumulator is odd. Say there are 1 ones, there are 3 ones, there are 5 ones or there are 7 in ones in an 8 bit accumulator then parity flag is 1 and parity flag is 0 if number of ones in the accumulator is even. For example, there is not a single one in accumulator or there are two ones, there are four ones, there are six ones, there are eight ones, then parity flag is zero. Let us study one practical example which will make it more clear. You have to write the status of carry, auxiliary carry, parity and overflow flag when following program is executed. It means that when the program is executed, what will be the value stored in carry flag? What will be the value stored in auxiliary carry flag? Likewise, what will be the status of parity and overflow flag? Move a comma hash 88h. The immediate number 88h is moved to accumulator. The next instruction is add a comma hash 9h. It means that add the content of a. What is the content of a? 88h with value 9h. It means that we have to perform addition of 88H and 9H. Let us write 88H in binary. First 8 stands for 1000. Second and 8 correspond to 1000. The second number is 9A. 9 is written as 1001 and A which is 10 in decimal. It is written as 1010. We have to perform addition of these two 8 bit numbers. We will start with LSB. 0 plus 0 it is 0, 0 plus 1, it is 1, 0 plus 0, it is 0, 1 plus 1, it is 0 with carry 1 and this is nothing but the auxiliary carry because this is the D3 bit, this is the D3 bit and this is the carry out of D3 bit. Now 1 plus 0 plus 1, it is 0 with carry 1, 1 plus 0 plus 0, it is 1, there is no carry, 0 plus 0 it is 0 and 1 plus 1 it is 0 with a carry of 1 and again this is the d7 bit and there is a carry out of d7 bit so this is obviously a carry flag this is obviously a auxiliary carry flag let us see so carry flag is 1 because there is a carry out of d7 bit auxiliary carry flag is also 1 because there is a carry out of d3 to d4 bit Parity flag is 0. Now count number of ones. Number of ones in accumulator because result is stored in accumulator. Don't count this carry flag. Count remaining 8 bits. How many ones are there? 1 and 2. There are 2 ones and 2 is a even figure. So parity flag becomes 0. And finally, overflow flag is 1 because when you convert this number into decimal and when you perform addition, the addition will be more than the range of signed numbers. That's why overflow flag is 1. So, in this way, by executing this instruction, we can check the status of the carry flag, auxiliary carry flag, parity flag and O2. Now, let us do the same program in kill id. The program is written here, move a comma hash 88h, add a comma hash 9h and these two numbers are added. Now, let us save the program, let us build the target, there are no errors. The first step to run the program is start stop debug session. And the second step is to run the program. Now, before running the program, on the left hand side, you will find that there is a PSW register and the status of individual flags are shown here. Parity is 0, F1 is 0, overflow is 0, RS is 0, F0 is 0, auxiliary carry is 0 and carry is 0. Here, F1 means that dash symbol, PSW.1. Now, let us run the program and check whether the flags are up affected according to the program we just written. Now program is run. Now let us observe the status. Parity flag is 0. 
ओवरफ्लो इज वन ऑक्सिलरी कैरी इज वन एंड कैरी इज वन एंड द सेम वॉज डिस्कस इ The same thing we have proved through the uh, execution of program in Kiel ID. So this is how the different flags are affected. And now let us move to the last two flags, which are not related to any arithmetic or logical operations. They are particularly related to register banks. So what is register bank? Register bank is a storage area in internal RAM of 805 microcontroller. 128 bytes of internal RAM is there. And that 128 bytes of internal RAM is divided into four register banks, and they are named as Bank Zero, Bank One, Bank Two, and Bank Three. Each bank has eight registers, and name of those registers are R0, R1, R2, R3, R4, R5, R6, and R7. So R0 to R7, these eight registers are present in Bank Zero. they are also present in bank 1 they are also there in bank 2 and they are also there in bank 3 means these eight registers are repeated in four banks now when i write r0 in my program then how i can assure that to which bank it belongs for that purpose before using any register from r0 to r7 i should select the bank and then it will become clear that that register belongs to which bank and to select the bank what should be done we should use rs1 and rs0 bits they are psw.4 and psw.3 bits corresponding now what is the status if rs1 is 0 rs0 is 0 bank 0 is selected and the range of bank 0 is 00 to 07 if i want to select bank 1 i should make rs1 0 rs0 as 1 bank 1 is selected to select bank 2 rs1 should be 1 rs0 should be 0 and to select bank 3 both rs1 as well as rs0 should be made one so in this way before using r0 to r7 register we should select the banks and what happens if you don't select bank then by default bank 0 is selected if you don't select the bank by using rs1 and r0 by default bank 0 is selected let us take one example here it is asked that store the data 65h in r0 register of bank 2 Where it is to be stored? It is to be stored in R0 register of Bank 2. So before storing 65H value in R0, I should first select the Bank 2. Now how to select Bank 2? Bank 2 is selected by making this RS1 bit 1 and RS0 bit 0. We have seen it in the last table. So RS1 is PSW.4 and RS0 is PSW.3. So PSW.4 should be made 1. And PSW point three should made zero. Set B is the instruction which sets or which makes a particular bit one. Which bit is to be made one? PSW point four bit is to be made one, or it is to be set. So set B PSW point four will make RS one as one. Similarly, PSW point three should be made zero. In order to make a particular bit zero, we should use CLR instruction. That is clear. clear psw.3 so clear means make it zero so as rs1 is 1 rs0 is 0 bank 2 is selected now it's time to store the data 65h in r0 register so move r0 comma hash 65 65h so this 65h value will move to the r0 register of bank 2 because these two instructions were used to select the bank you can write substitute of these two instructions also instead of psw.4 you can write rs1 because the name is rs1 instead of psw.3 you can write rs0 also so you adopt any one method this program will store 65h value in r0 register of bank 2 so this is all about the psw register and finally i would like to tell you one more thing that when i say that carry flag is there it also means borrow borrow flag in subtraction even if the name is carry it acts as a borrow flag when you perform the subtraction so thank you thank you very much